play already. Yep. Oh, dang, it was quick. Give yourself a little pause so you can break. I know, right? Take three. Take three? It's take three already? Yep. <laughs> what is going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome to the year of 2021 hey i am so very excited man to be dropping my first video of 2021 to be producing this content to you guys y'all know that i'm a sneak ahead you know i've been building this collection of mine and 2020 was actually you know despite everything that was going on with the rona 2020 was good to me with the sneaker buying but anyway like i said uh today's video i'm bringing you guys some heat this is my first hype shoe. I was like, oh, say life. Y'all know really I don't go out to hype things, but things are a little different now. Before we get into today's video, today's sneaker review, you know, before I show you my brand new pickup, do me a huge favor. It's 2021, man. I need to get these subs up. I'm trying to get paid by YouTube. Hit that subscribe button. Subscribe to the channel. Like this video. Yo, share these videos. Put me out there. You know, I'm up and coming. So it's a sneaker collection, you know. Like I said before, listen, it doesn't cost any money to subscribe. I'm not charging you. It's free. Help a brother out. All right. Let's get to the sneaker. So one of the very first things I want to point out, I don't know if you guys have noticed if you guys have purchased anything from Nike recently, but I noticed that Nike has changed the packaging. They no longer come with that Nike tape that goes across the middle that just screams still me to the UPS guys, to FedEx workers, USPS, whoever delivers these packages. And you know what? That's cool with me. I'm good with it. It's more of a discreet package. So I guess that's their way of combating the packages being stolen, okay? So coming out the box, yeah, y'all see it. Y'all see that multicolored box. Top of the box reads Nike SB. You know, now I would say this, this is my first pair of dunks. And with this sneaker, I actually, I kind of went went for the sneaker without intentions on buying it. You know, cause it would drop, they release, and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna try my luck on the sneakers app. I've only hit two pair of sneakers on the sneakers app prior to this. So, your boy's excited, but let's get to it. The product code, there it is. Focus, focus, focus. It is gonna read Nike SB Dunk Low Pro Quick Strike. The colors are metallic copper, and this is a US size 11. Retail for $110. So, opening up the box, I'm pretty sure y'all know what these are, okay? These are the SB Dubs, the Street Hawkers. As you can see, opening up the box, you have that really unique brown wrapping paper. Now, looking at this shoe and looking at this paper, because there's a lot of details with this sneaker, this paper actually has like somewhat of a map, and on the map, it has like these. It has like a food menu and it shows like the different prices. I don't know if you guys can see that, but we'll get more into that. But opening it up, of course, you got a double wrap. You're going to have these duties on the inside, okay? So I'm going to take them out. Oh, I would say this first impressions of having a shoe in hand. The shoe is very unique. And in, in my opinion, the shoes are dope. I do get like that, that what the vibes, I guess a lot, a lot of, Nike is starting to get on with the having multicolor shoes and whatnot. I guess it's a new trend, but these up close. These are dope. These are dope sneaker. So as I mentioned, there are a lot of different things going on with this sneaker. So we're gonna get into details, all right? These released back on January the 22nd, 2021 of this year, and I retail for $110. Now this was a collaboration that Nike did with a artist in China. Uh, name is Jason Ding, I believe is his name. Forgive me if I'm mis if I'm mispronouncing the last name. Um, but he's an artist out of Guangzhou. Am I saying it right? Guangzhou. Guangzhou. Guangzhou, China. Three unique design to these sneakers. They they draw inspiration from the Chinese food culture, and these shoes were designed to pay homage to like the street food vendors, Chinese culinary you know etc as we know i'm from st louis st louis has some of the best chinese food in the u.s left shoe as you can see right off the back the left shoe in comparison to the right shoe is gonna have more you're gonna have more lighter colors more of like that beige color and th those lighter beige colors are supposed to represent like the three flower based dishes now as you can see on the mid panel of the lateral side you're gonna have like an embossed suede and on this suede, it's supposed to represent like the pita bread pieces 
that they use for a traditional di dish by the name of Zaijian dish. And basically it's pita bread soaked in mutton soup. Now, continuing on that same lateral side, you're gonna see like these donut shaped patterns. And the donut shaped patterns are supposed to be these, I guess, little side items called Zhao Quen. And they're supposed to pair with the green bean soup. Now the swoosh, as you can see, the details on the swoosh, the swoosh is gonna have like this wood grain pattern and the wood grain pattern on the swoosh is supposed to represent the wooden chopsticks that you would normally use to consume these dishes. Now, heading back to the, almost to the hill, you're gonna have like this, this embroidered 10 cent copper coin and it's hinting at the Yang Chen noodles, which are the noodles that are mainly used in some of these dishes. Now, moving on to the midsole. The midsole, you're gonna have white midsole, blue stitching, and you're gonna have like that sky blue color. Now, the blue lining on the midsole mimics the blue and white fine porcelain bowls that majority of these dishes are served in. The toe box is gonna be like this rough textured suede. Now, that color is supposed to mimic the texture and the color of the green bean soup, also known as Dao Jai from Beijing, China. And on the lateral hill, the watercolor fading looks like Shanghai Plain Noodles, also called the Yang Chung Noodles that I mentioned earlier. The shoe come laced, factory with the white rope laces. Uh, of course, you got that SB tongue, that really thick tongue. And on that tongue, you're gonna have Nike SB and like that yellow goldish color. Um, well, moving on to the inside, shoe's gonna come stuffed with your regular stuff, tissue paper. And on the inside, I don't know if you can see it, but the insole with those different colors, that blue, that white, uh, the insole resembles a blue sky and it's inspired by a traditional Chinese slang implying that people treat food as their heaven. So in other words, food is everything. <laughs> and I would know. So that's the left shoe. As you can see, the combination of things um and let's move on to the right shoe as you can see like i pointed out earlier the difference in the the contrast in colors the left shoe is going to be more lighter the right shoe is going to have more of your darker colors now with the right shoe let me get this a little closer so you guys can see this the right shoe features more of the hotter colors to represent the different heats from spicy to sweet um the mid panel of the lateral side you're gonna have like this red, orange, I don't say it's a red, it's like an ostrich leather. And it's inspired by the crispy roasted goose skin that's famous in Gangzhou. Now the silver swoosh on the sneaker, the silver, ah, the silver swoosh is supposed to resemble the metal hook used to hang the roast goose. Now the flame and the lechi wood used to roast the goose, it appears in a watercolor pattern around the eyelets. So if you take a look, you will see like the multi colors up top. Like I said, it's, it's a lot going on with this shoe, man. And I dig the concept behind it. But moving on to the toe box, as you can see, the toe box is gonna be like a metallic bronze color. And that color is pulled from the Xingdu hot spots in which dishes are cooked. So around the toe box, you have like them different colors, like the red, the orange, the yellow. That's supposed to represent like the ball and chili oil treatments bubbling around the toe box. So. Of course, going back to the lateral side, the midsole, you're gonna have your white, white midsole, white stitching, and also you're gonna have the yellow at the bottom. Now the yellow outsole represents the cooking oils that they would use to prepare these dishes in. So moving on to the heel of the shoe. Uh, the heel of the shoe, um, the concept is supposed to be like shaved ice and taro balls, and it's a common Taipei, Taipei dessert that can be found on the heel of the shoe. So you can have like that sky blue color, like a greenish, purplish, a lot of different colors going on. Now moving on to the insole, as you can see it, you're gonna have like those different colors, brown, tan, red, and the insole paints a scene of a bench terrace and it's mainly a landscaping method used to grow rice paddles, rice patties. You're gonna have your black mesh Nike SB tongue, Real thick, like every Nike SB Dunk, you're gonna have Nike SB, the red stitching. Uh, now this shoe does come factory lace with the black lace. Also one thing I do wanna point out that the sock lining is supposed to reflect on the color of meat dishes that are normally used with these dishes. So 
a couple more things to point out about the shoe or the shoelaces now you're gonna have the white laces in the left shoe the black laces in the right shoe and it's gonna compare it with some green and like tan laces now the green laces are supposed to represent the shallots that they use in the cuisines the yellow or the um, I wouldn't want, wouldn't want to say yellow, let's say beige, tan laces, it's supposed to represent ginger, same color as ginger, you're going to have the white, the white's supposed to represent garlic, and the black's supposed to represent the black pepper, like some of the herbs, the spices that they use to prepare these meals. Final touch on the back of the sneaker, this does have the Chinese character on the back, which stands for food. Um, left side is going to come in the white stitching, and the right shoe is going to be the black stitching, so... As I mentioned, both of these shoes have a lot going on. This is a dope concept, in my opinion. I'm liking the shoes. I'm glad I got a W. So, these are it, man. I'm looking forward to probably putting these joints on feet. You know, I'm going to have to run it by my fiance first to see if she want me to sell them. Because the resale is crazy. But we're going to have another look at it. Take a look at the left one. right there you have it all right guys yo so hey like i said i appreciate you guys tuning in to this video this review as y'all can see man i'm super excited about having these shoes in hand hey do me a favor subscribe to sus ah, do me a favor subscribe to the channel like this video drop a comment down below let me know what you think and as always i'm gonna see you on the next come up we out